Right guys, I'll just show you what we've done. We've just installed a TT earthing system on this board, all right? We're in a stables at the minute. It's fed from over there and this board does these stables and it was connected to the PME earth, all right? So we've just basically disconnected the armored cable, all right? It goes through a double insulated gland. So the earthing arrangement changes from PME to TT here, okay? We've used the structural steels as the means of earthing, all right? So there's an earthing conductor tagged onto a steel. Up there, we've also replaced the three pole main switch, all right, for a 100 milliamp, 100 amp S type four pole, which is gonna provide fault protection on the distribution circuits out, on all the circuits out. There is 30 milliamp RCBOs in here on some of the sub boards and the sockets, and there's also a shower, which is fine, but these are only single pole, all right, they're not gonna break the neutral. So you know, we know under earth fault conditions on a TT earthen arrangement, all live conductors must be broken. So this is going to provide fault protection for the installation.